And this is Proverbs 25 and verse 2, which is the glory of the Most High to conceal a thing, but the honor of kings is to search out a matter. Kal halal Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakwa, Kodash. Double honors, possibly in elders of great millstone, where I learned this truth from. Peace and salutations to the brothers on down teaching, preaching. Pushing this gospel, good news to four corners of the earth, waking up the hopeful elect of the house of Israel. Greetings also to the few sisters that tune into these video epistles. I call this lesson a compelling force to accept lies. It's more reasons to fear our power. A bunch of our folk just can't adhere to the truth. It doesn't matter what lessons, what it doesn't matter what is put in front of them. They just cannot accept it they never did so we're all back in our lot our power his name is yahweh his only begotten son is yahweh shai and we are yasharala he prince of the power the true children of israel tracing our lineage back to abraham isaac and jacob and it's a real for you why i just was thinking about this the last few days watching lessons and well, I haven't been able to see any lessons in the last few days i've been offline here but just getting back seeing some lessons that i've missed and prior to being cut off here with uh, no internet service, it's a regular thing here up in the hills in Jamaica. What kind of force is it that compels someone that even with irrefutable evidence, that's to say it's impossible to disprove, there's no arguments about it, it's, it's a fact. For example, with this J, there was no J until 1524. There's nobody arguing about that. So even with that put in front of somebody's face, they are still compelled to use this J word when speaking about our Savior. His name is Yahweh Shai. It means he saves, he delivers. He's our Redeemer, the Redeemer of his people, as it says, Matthew 1, 21. He's come back to save his people from their sins. Let's just prove that that is another character. And they are bound, stuck to this image. It's a new image, a new doctrine, and a new name. Nothing to do with what's in the scriptures. If a defendant lies, I've used this. I don't know if I've got it from somewhere else. I'm not claiming to have any original thought where this thing is concerned. It's all in the spirit. If a defendant is understand, giving evidence, whether it's for a few minutes or, or even days and he just slips up he, he lies and it's been proven that his testimony that he lies well his whole testimony is it could be thrown out but giving him a sideway look well this man Esau Edom calling himself the white man he's a proven liar he's the one that got this man up here oh you've got to worship him this is his new name this is what he looks like Got long stringy hair he's got leprosy he looks like me, you've got to worship him or else. And so we've had our language, the true image of our power, beaten out of us. And this compelling force to accept lies, no matter what. Let's read that scripture again. It is the, it's Proverbs 25 and 2. It is the glory of the Most High to conceal a thing, but the honor of kings is to search out a matter. It's the honor of kings. Allah is laughable at the moment. Who's this kings? Kings, you're locked up in prisons. You right down at the bottom. You got the worst of everything. The worst education, healthcare, transportation system, communication, the whole lot, you name it. You're right down the bottom. Look, we've given you all this crazy uh, what, uh, black culture. By the way, you've got to call yourself all the names that I've given you. So says this so-called white man. The Edomite, you've got to say you're a Negro, nigger, black, uh, uh, spicks, wetbacks, uh, Hispanics, Latinos, Native Americans, a whole barrage of uh, names that you must call yourself. Oh, and we've subscribed, we've given you this uh, degenerate uh, black culture that you've got to follow. It's guns, we've filled up your neighborhoods with guns and uh, drugs and all this. That's a culture created by this so-called white man. But no, we are kings, Revelation 1 and 6, and has made us kings and priests unto the Most High and his Father. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. So let it be true. And what about this 
Well, that must be one of my favorite revelations here. Five, just get uh, jump around here. Four and five to begin with. And I wept much because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book, neither to look thereon. And one of the elders said unto me, Weep not, behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, hath prevailed. To say he's overcome. To what? To open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof. This is the seals of understanding, the ability to perceive, to get over the lies and not to accept the lies. We are kings and priests. Verse 9, and they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof, to unlock it, unlock the minds of the hopeful elect. That's what we refer to ourselves as. Nobody knows. Open the seals thereof, for thou was slain and has redeemed us. That's to buy back us to the Most High by thy blood, out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation. That's to where we were scattered. That's why it's to every nation and tongue and people and nation and has made us unto our power, kings and priests, and we shall reign. What, floating away in the sky somewhere? No, we're going to reign on the earth. So said the word. Oh, yes. Let's get... Uh, John, John 5, 39, straight to the point. Search the scriptures. It's red letter, Yahweh Shai speaking. Search the scriptures, for in them ye think ye have eternal life. And they are they which testify of me. It's Yahweh Shai speaking. It's another scripture says, I come in a volume of the book. Psalms 40 and 7, I think it's repeated, Hebrews 10 and 7. We won't go to those. Let's uh, keep it moving here. Uh, what about Acts 17, 10 and 11? And the brethren immediately sent away Paul and Silas by night unto Berea, who coming thither went into the synagogue of the Jews. These were more noble than those in Thessalonica, in that they received the word with all readiness of mind and search the scriptures daily whether those things were so. So those people, the church at Berea, they were unlikely to be caught out with every wind of doctrine. There's no one going to come up in, in the midst of them start with their stringy hair and thin lips and leprosy saying, oh, I am your savior. No, they, they search the thing out. It's written what our savior looks like. Law, statutes and commandments are there to see. Thou shalt not this, thou shalt not that. So you keep reading that. You know what the laws are. And you know his name. You know his image. You're not going to be easily fooled. So these were more noble than the church at Thessalonica. Because they search the scriptures. What, once a month? Disappear and come back after six months? No, they search the scriptures daily. Whether those things which Paul was preaching were so search it out for themselves wasn't suffering with the uh, severe stockholm syndrome you don't know what that is you need to look that up maybe you're one of those suffering with it of a more severe nature i keep looking to see if there's another word for what our folks have got stuck up in these churches calling on this name it's the devil it's baal no different to any of the other uh, muhammad uh, krishna or the rest of them Isaiah 66 and 4. I also will choose their delusions. That's what's happened to you. And will bring their fears upon them. Because when I call, none did answer. When I spake, they did not hear. But they did evil before mine eyes. And chose that in which I delighted not. It's also repeated in uh, what's it, Thessalonians. I won't go to that. Let's get to... Uh, Jeremiah, we have one of these two full scriptures here, I think. Jeremiah 23. Jeremiah 23, let's go from 19. Behold, a whirlwind of the Lord is gone forth in fury. Even a grievous whirlwind, it shall fall grievously upon the head of the wicked. That's why I was 
saying it's a twofold because we have the wicked, which is Esau Edom, the so-called white man, Malachi 1 and 4, and Job 9, 24, they're else given into this man's hand. That's who he is. But you've got the wicked amongst the house of Israel who joined themselves unto this man. And so they're going to suffer the same fate. It shall fall grievously upon the head of the wicked. The anger of the Lord shall not return until he have executed, until he have performed the thoughts of his heart in the latter days. Ye shall consider it perfectly. I have not sent these prophets, yet they ran. I have not spoken to them, yet they prophesied. What are they prophesying? They're prophesying lies. That's what they're prophesying. I didn't send them. Let's get... Uh, some more on that theme there, Ezekiel 13. Let's go from 19. And will ye pollute me among my people for a handful of barley? See? For pieces of bread to slay the souls that should not die and to save the souls alive that should not live by your lying to my people that hear your lies? See, you got them up in these churches. They're not looking out. In, they're not searching the scriptures. They're just up there repeating parrot fashion. They're zombies. This is what was beaten into us. And you just keep repeating it over and over and over. You haven't searched out the matter. You haven't searched the scripture. You're a king and a priest. Wake up. Wherefore, thus saith the Lord God, Yahweh, power is his name. Behold, I am against your pillows. When you lie on your pillow, you're supposed to gain comfort. But he's saying, I'm, I'm taking your comfort away. Wherewith ye there hunt the souls to make them fly, and I will tear them from your arms, and will let the souls go. Even the so See, if you're, you're uh, lying to yourself, it's just you and yourself, there's nobody there. But if you're up in front of people, and you keep repeating these lies year in, year out, you're responsible. You've got blood on your hands. You need to search out the matter. You can't be up there repeating all this stuff, uh, parrot fashion to people. The scripture is saying, I will tear them from your arms and I will let the souls go, even the souls that ye hunt, to make them fly. Your kerchiefs also will I tear and deliver my people out of your hand and they shall be no more in your hand to be hunted and ye shall know that I am the Lord because with lies ye have made the heart of the righteous sad, whom I have not made sad and strengthened the hands of the wicked that he should not return from his wicked way by promising him life, for example, with this... Uh, implantable device. I mean, we just had an episode the last few years ago. We got all these church leaders were standing up saying, oh yes, uh, do as this man says. Go and get that, uh, that serpent juice. You'll be okay. There are people dropping dead all over the place. He's promising you life with his artificial intelligence. All lies. It's interesting to see what are they going to do when this man comes with his implantable device is the advice going to be the same yeah go ahead and do what he says verse 23 of ezekiel 13 here therefore ye shall see no more vanity nor divine divinations for i will deliver my people out of your hand and ye shall know that i am the lord it's all caps it's yahweh that's who's speaking right there lies time to wake up let's get uh, we had Isaiah 30 let's go from 9 that this is a rebellious people lying children children that will not hear the law of the Lord would say to the seers see not and to the prophets prophesy not these two words mean the same thing see is, is a prophet pro, pro or pre meaning before for meaning to say and so I think it's a uh, is it first Samuel 9 and 9? The prophets were called seers back in the day. Would say to the seers, see not. And to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things. Speak unto us smooth things. Prophesy deceits. There's some people begging for lies. They love the lies. Get you out of the way. Turn aside out of the path. Cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. Wherefore, thus saith the Holy One of Israel, because ye despise this word, this word of truth, and trust in oppression and perverseness, 
and stay there on therefore this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall swelling out in a high wall whose breaking cometh suddenly at an instant that's what's getting ready to happen some people are meeting it as we speak judgment begins in the house of israel jeremiah i was going to get jeremiah 7 start at 8 then will i cause you to dwell in this place in the land that i gave to your fathers forever and ever behold ye trust in lying words that cannot profit let's listen to a few of these will ye steal murder and commit adultery swear falsely burn incense to baal see that's that idol worship it doesn't matter what the names are whether it's that jeebus character or all the rest of them it's all the same it's a rebellion against our power will you burn incense Unto Baal, and walk after other gods whom ye know not, and come and stand before me in this house which is called by my name, and say, We are delivered to do all these abominations? Is this house which is called by my name become a den of robbers in your eyes? Behold, even I have seen it, the most high is watching, saith the Lord. Just hold it there on that chapter there. He's watching. You think all of your lies and your willingness to bend and not to search the scriptures is going unnoticed search look check the thing out be like the church of berea something's being preached check it out do your research psalms 101 starting at 7 he that worketh deceit shall not dwell within my house he that telleth lies shall not tarry in my sight I will early destroy all the wicked of the land that I may cut off all the wicked doers from the city of the Lord. His name is Yahweh, for Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Just some more reasons to fear him. Fear him. That's what is required. That is the beginning of our knowledge. I won't stress the lesson beyond where it needs to be when listening to a compelling force to accept lies. Shadow arm till the next lesson. No fear, no sorrow.